Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in On One Photo Raw 2021 and I'm working on a landscape from Iceland. And in this video, I'm going to walk through some workflow ideas for doing subtle but like effective enhancements to your landscapes using some of the tools and filters and masks and, and things like that. Here in On One, let me show you the photo. This is uh, Sel Yellen, I can't say it. It's a really long name. It ends in Foss. It's a waterfall. It's well known. Anyway, um, that's the uh, the after so far. That's the before photo. So that's unedited except for a crop. And then this one, you can see a little bit of a lens correction. And there's some contrast. Pulled down the highlights and slightly adjusted the temperature. But there's a number of things I want to do to this photo. And so I am going to start with a local adjustment. And the first thing I want to do is get a gradient mask. And this is going to be a linear bottom. There we go. And what I want to do is place that here. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. And basically all I'm trying to do is uh, darken that upper corner of the photo because it's just uh, way too bright. So I think that's actually fine. I'm going to pull that. Actually, I'm going to tilt it a little bit more. And I'm going to now pull the exposure down. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, okay. I think about like that. I am going to pull the highlights down pretty significantly. Midtones are coming down as well. I'm also going to cool it off a little bit. So like a negative 10 or 12. And I'm going to give it a little bit of vibrance. I do like the color in this guy. It's just, uh, you know, old habits die hard. But let me show you the mask. If I click on view, you can see the mask. So remember, white reveals, black conceals. So this gradient mask has allowed me to adjust just that upper right corner of the photo. And if I turn it off, let me show you. There's the before and there's the after. I'm actually going to pull this down a little bit further. I want to cover more of that. Uh, piece up there just above the waterfall. So maybe something about like that. Okay, before, after, I think that's looking good. Okay, now I'm in effects, and the first thing I'm going to do is get some dynamic contrast. And what I want to do is just something I typically do with uh, clouds and water, and that is just kind of soften them up. So I'm just going to pull all of these down a little bit, something like that. And I do want to mask them in. So I'm going to invert, and I want to use the perfect brush. I'm going to decrease the size of my brush, and I just want to paint this in. Whoops, I've got to click paint in. Paint this in here and I just kind of want to go over the waterfall a little bit and then down along this river as well just to soften that up a little bit simply because I just like the look. Uh, obviously a personal preference I guess as is all, uh, all of my editing. <laughs> um, let's see here. If I click on view you can see that's fine. I'm just smoothing it out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect but I've got that done and now I want to move on to tone enhancer. Let me click on that. And basically here, I'm going to drop the exposure a little bit. Think a little bit like that. And once again, I want to get into masking. I'm going to click invert. I want to use this perfect brush. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And I'm basically painting this darkening in to the edges here. So I just kind of want to come around uh, and darken those up a little bit. Something like that. And then let me come over here. And this perfect brush is just really handy to have. I love it. I mean, it just helps you be really accurate and uh, it's just super effective. So something about like that. Click on view. You can kind of see how that's been applied. So if I turn this off, there it is before tone enhancer and then back on, there it is after. And so the reason I did that is because next I'm using HDR look and that tends to brighten the photo and I'm actually using that across the entire photo. So I'm not going to mask HDR look in. Although I am going to pull down the amount a little bit. I'm going to do about a 70 and about a 10. So if I turn this off, there it is before and there it is after. So if I had not applied the tone enhancer to darken that uh, the areas on the left and the right, if I turn that off and added HDR look, it would be, in my opinion, a little bit too bright. And so I actually think I've got it a little bit too dark. I'm going to come in here and pull back the exposure a little bit. I'm always doing that in my videos. I make a video or I edit the photo and I have it all planned out, ready to go. And then I get in there and say, oh, I kind of want to change that a little bit. Anyway, so Tone Enhancer and HDR Look have basically allowed me to crunch up and darken the land a little bit. I'm creating some contrast between the drama of this magnificent waterfall and the land around it. So a little Tone Enhancer to darken it and then HDR Look to crunch up the detail a little bit, which also does brighten it. That's why I did Tone Enhancer. And now I need to go into Color Enhancer because there's some things about these colors I just don't really like. And so I'm going to start down here with orange. And the first thing I want to do is adjust the hue. I'm going to go to like a 40, 42, something like that. 
and I'm gonna pull this saturation down somewhat, like a negative 15 or 16. So it's created a little bit more yellow, a little bit less orange in the land there. So if you look at the before, it's a, you know, a lot more of an orange kind of look to it, and now it's a little bit less orange, a little bit more on the yellow kind of green. And so having said that, the next thing I'm gonna do is go into yellow. And here I'm gonna change that hue. I'm gonna actually increase the hue to about a 28. So I'm making it a bit more green and I'm gonna increase the saturation here about a seven or an eight as well. And so I've basically just taken the, the land mass, if you will, where it was really kind of orangey yellow and I've made it kind of more yellow green. Let me turn that off. You can see before, to me, that orangey yellow just didn't really look as good as this, which is more of that orange green. And I like kind of the, the green and the, the color of the water, kind of that blue. I like kind of how they play against each other. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is take the overall temperature down, and I'm gonna go pretty high on that, like a negative 55, and that's just kind of cooling off the whole thing. So here's where Color Enhancer has helped me out quite a bit, I think. That's what I'm looking like now. And beforehand, there it is. So I again, before and after, I just like that look a little bit better, maybe a little bit too much blue, so maybe I'll pull that back a little bit, but I basically have been able to adjust the colors, make them look a little bit more the way I wanted them to look. That's what Color Enhancer did for me. And because I was in Tone Enhancer, when I clicked the Add Filter, it added it here. I'm gonna go ahead and move that filter. You can just move those around, and now it's on top of my stack. And the next thing is a vignette. Again, just creating subtle, like kind of beautiful enhancements to a, a landscape. I am gonna pull this down a bit, something about like that. I'm gonna pull the size down as well. Feathering goes to 100, and the roundness is gonna go to like a negative 40 or something like that. And so I am gonna actually place the center. I want it to be more like over here, something about like that. And then I got to this point and I thought I was done. And then here's where I often will come back and play with Tone Enhancer, but instead I just went to Develop and I just took the exposure up a little bit because I felt like it was getting a little bit too dark. So I just bumped that up about a 0.3 on exposure here in uh, the Develop uh, tab under Tone and Color. Just a subtle minor adjustment. You could go in and use Tone Enhancer, but I just chose to go back to the Develop tab. And that's my full edit. To me, that was, you know, it's a nice looking scene. I like the photo. I like seeing all the people up there and that sort of thing, but I just didn't really like the colors and the overall look. I wanted to create a little bit more mood, a little bit more impact, but not overly dramatic, not over the top. Just adjust the colors, the light a little bit, and really kind of focus the attention on the waterfall. Really not that you're gonna miss it, but at the before, the before photo, it's a little bit lost. The sky's too bright. I don't really like the colors. And so afterwards, I was able to create a little bit more impact in the photo. I like the line of the river here, cutting, kind of leading your eye up to the waterfall. And I just think the color adjustments that I made, a little bit of detail, a little bit of color in the, in the, uh, the landscape itself, I think draws a little bit more visual interest to the photo. And that's how I did it. If you wanna see the before and after, you know, it's a pretty big impact, but it's not overly dramatic or over the top in any kind of way. I just think it's nice and subtle, but effective. And that was my workflow for this one. Hope it gives you some ideas, my friends. Thank you very much for tuning in, watching, hanging out, all that kind of stuff. Hope you're taking care of yourselves, staying safe, and have fun editing out there. I'll see you in the next video, and adios.